Mastering English Debates Participating in Mock Debates Welcome to our English language learning video on Participating in Mock Debates. In this video, we will explore the essential skills and strategies needed to engage in mock debates effectively. Whether you're a language learner or a teacher, understanding the art of debating in English can greatly enhance your listening and speaking skills. So, let's dive in. To start, let's clarify what mock debates are. Mock debates are simulated debates where participants discuss a particular topic in a structured manner, imitating a real debate scenario. These debates are a valuable tool for practicing and applying your English language skills. In mock debates, participants are typically assigned specific roles, such as being a team member in support of a particular viewpoint, proposition, or opposing it, opposition. Each side presents arguments, counters opposing arguments, and engages in rebuttals. Mock debates are an excellent opportunity to develop critical thinking, persuasive speaking, and listening skills. Before engaging in a mock debate, thorough preparation is crucial. Here are some key steps to consider. 1. Research the topic. Familiarize yourself with the subject matter, gather relevant information, and understand different perspectives. This will enable you to construct strong arguments and anticipate counterarguments. 2. Outline your arguments. Create a clear and concise outline of your main arguments, supporting evidence, and examples. Organize your points logically to ensure a coherent presentation. 3. Practice your speaking skills. Work on your pronunciation, intonation, and fluency by rehearsing your arguments and responses. Practice speaking confidently and clearly to make a persuasive impact. 4. Consider opposing viewpoints. To strengthen your arguments, try to anticipate the opposing side's stance. This will help you prepare counter-arguments and rebuttals effectively. Now, let's discuss the typical structure of a mock debate. A standard format consists of the following components. 1. Opening Statements. Each team presents their opening statements, outlining their position on the topic and introducing their main arguments. 2. Rebuttal Phase. Teams take turns to challenge the opposing side's arguments and provide counter-arguments. 3. Cross-examination. Participants have the opportunity to ask questions to the opposing side and challenge their arguments further. 4. Closing statements. In the final phase, each team summarizes their main points and delivers a persuasive closing statement to reinforce their position. To make the most out of your mock debate experience, here are some helpful tips to keep in mind. 1. Active listening. Pay close attention to the arguments presented by the opposing side and take notes. This will enable you to respond effectively during the rebuttal phase. 2. Use persuasive language. Utilize persuasive language techniques, such as rhetorical questions, strong adjectives, and statistics, to make your arguments more compelling. 3. Maintain a respectful tone. While debates can be passionate, it's important to maintain a respectful and professional tone. Avoid personal attacks and focus on the arguments themselves. 4. Time management. Stay mindful of time limits during each phase of the debate. Effective time management allows all participants to express their viewpoints and ensures a fair exchange of ideas. Congratulations! You now have a solid understanding of participating in mock debates as a means of improving your English language skills. Remember, practice makes perfect, so find opportunities to engage in mock debates with peers or language learning groups. By honing your debating abilities, you'll develop your critical thinking, public speaking, and 